Good day everyone. In this video, we are going to make the laptop faster. If your computer is running slow, boot slow, slow performance, after doing four powerful yet very simple steps, your computer will be speed up drastically. Please make sure you watch the whole video with all the patience you have got. And once you are done with those four steps, do a right click in the start icon and then click on settings. And guys, this tutorial will work on Windows 10, Windows 11 computer. Supervise. Now here, at the left hand side, we just need to go to this Windows update. And here we will go to advanced options. And then you will find delivery optimization. And please make sure allow downloads from other PC should be turned off. Once this is done, close this window and do a right click in the start icon again. And then go to device manager. And here in device manager, look for anything which says system devices. So I can see at the bottom, the second last is system devices. I'll just click next to it just to ensure, just to expand it. And here we are looking for high precision event timer. You just need to disable the service and it will drastically lower the usage of CPU and it will enhance and it will enhance the performance and also it will boost the FPS for gaming. So once you have disabled high precision event timer, you can close this window. And the next one is in the search icon, click on that and type storage. Once you have typed, the best match will be storage settings. So please click on that. And here, scroll down and click on advanced storage settings and please make sure you click on this storage sense it should be turned on and clean up recommendation so i would recommend to go to this storage sense and from here you can select the frequency that how frequent you want storage sense to be run so storage sense will automatically clean up all the chunks created by the computer and here we have this cleanup recommendation so please make sure that you Click on this cleanup recommendation and clean all the chunks created by the computer. So you can delete unwanted temporary Windows files, downloads, large and unused files, files sync to the cloud, and you can also uninstall unused apps which you do not use it. This will definitely boost up the PC because you are going to you're removing the garbage from the computer. Once this is done. We will also reset the browser. So if you're using Google Chrome, open the Google Chrome and at the top right corner, we have this three dots, click on that. And now here at the left hand side, we need to click on this advanced option. And at the below, you will find reset and cleaner. So click on that please. And here at the top right corner, we have this restore settings to their original device. So once you click on that, here you just need to click on reset settings and the browser will be reset. Now if you're using Microsoft Edge, I'll open it and at the top right corner click on these three dots and then click on settings and here at the left hand side you will find reset settings. Click on that and here you will find restore settings to two. Restore settings to the defined values. Now this will reset the startup page, new tab page, search engine and pen tabs. It will also turn off all the extensions, clear temporary data like cookies, the favorites, history, safe passwords will not be clear. So this is a good thing. Now the best part is if you have any unwanted extensions or any slowness in the browser, this will fix it. Once this is done, please ensure that you restart the computer. There is one more effective step is remaining. And for that, you just need to do a right click, click on task manager. And here we need to click on this startup tab and I'll just maximize it. Please make sure that you disable all unwanted applications at the startup, because if you have any unwanted application at the startup, it will use the memory, it will use the CPU, and it will make the computer slow. Please ensure that you do not disable any graphics, sound, or Wi-Fi. Just disable any unwanted thing which you do not know. If you do not know, you can search it online and then disable it. Disabling startup item doesn't mean you cannot use it. You can use it whenever you will open it. 
once this is done please ensure that you restart the computer and see the difference in your computer performance please let me know in the comment section and guys please hit the like and subscribe i'll see you in the next tutorial have a wonderful day